Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. We are about to have a chat with Bruver, but he's gonna help me big time. Uh, oh, it's forbidden to stomp, jump, lean over the edge, uh, stuff for a rest. Carve runes into the handrails. hoo ha Great. I was not about to do any of those. Dwarves demonstrate innovative thinking in many domains. Metallurgy, engineering, architecture. Yet there is one in which they could not be bothered. Naming. For this reason, the bridge that linked the Mahakam Pass with Mount Carbon was simply named Langbridge. Neve learned it was a thoroughly fitting name. Having stopped for a breath halfway across the road suspended over a deep chasm, the Queen could see neither end of the bridge, both concealed by thick clouds. Amazing, whispered the Queen. I feel as though we traversed the very sky. The Queen and her retinue were nearing Mount Carbon when Meave heard a cry. It was Xavier. Hold! Hold! Meave what? drew in her reins abruptly. Her mare neighed and reared, lifting the Queen above her formation of men. From that height, she saw the last pier of the bridge crumbling. The dwarves at the head of the procession were unable to stop in time and plummeted, screaming into the abyss. What's the meaning of this, God damn it? Bruva roared. Face the engineers! No! The queen was striving to calm her spooked mount when she sent something swish past her ear. Out of nowhere, a Scoyatel band had appeared at the rear of the column. Before anyone could react, elven archers had felled the rear guard. The soldiers lay on the bridge's stone surface with arrows in their backs. Meave was trapped. In one direction lay the chasm, in the other, a fierce foe. She had no choice but to stand and fight. Extra cards in the short battle. Alright. Alright, Squirtel. Let's see what they have. Seems okay. What? Why do I have this? Move a unit. One rule away from the opponent. Seems garbage. Why do I have Bruver Hog? Spawn two Mahakam protectors and move an enemy from the melee to the range row. I don't want you, Bruver. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna. Ah, this is fine. At last, Rena, you are mine. What? We trapped your grace, but we can try and fight our way through. That's the plan. Nay, Duan Vekemest. Same rule as the cliff. Destroy it. Oh, <gasps> really? I can actually get a lot of value of that with that. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Ah! Ah! Holy crap. <laughs> That's not Shouldn't the best idea. I have off. so many movers. I'm gonna random out from your deck. Again and again and again. You can set the front on fire, but it doesn't really matter. I... I smell a leak. I've hit the white of an eye from half a leak away. Ah! Oh my god. I got the perfect hero power to take advantage of the cliff. Got business for me? Yeah. <laughs> I have too much. Wait, should I set it on fire as well? I don't know. Maybe just wait. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Okay. Where? Left, right, left. Ice right. cars? No. They don't Go hurt. in the back. Not the best location for you guys. We can just wait. Oh, I, I gotta play a card. Okay, fine. Let's do that. Again and again and again. Oh. Let us sing the song of steel. Screw a damage unit. 
<laughs> and we can just throw this into the same. Can we move the cliff? We can't move the cliff. Fine. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Sure. This is not a particularly challenging fight. Oh, I gotta play more stuff. I can just give charge. Mm. You mad? Don't shake that. Okay. It's fire. It's on fire Love again. Neck ends. Similian Vat. Two copies of Reed Brigade. <laughs> ah! Oh! What an unfortunate incident! Ah! Should have listened to the old lady. Damn! It's my entire deck. <laughs> oh my god! So dirty. Not going into the tray already, are we? Oh no! Okay. I have nothing to target. Guess I can play Isbel Healer. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. I shall not fail! Uh, we can throw that in the back. Can do heal. Decent heal. But then we have basically nothing to do. Can wait. Will that flip Your over? Tricks will not save you, Duan. Well, look at that. So that seemed to never flip over. And I guess I'm gonna pass. We can trash that. Pass. No! Blood arena! She must <clears throat> die! You know, it's... It was not too close. I was in the lead by 300 points. And I was... I would've loved to play even more units, but I couldn't. I just had no space. <laughs> <laughs> strength combined, Jesus and Christ, I feel like I'm playing in the square tower. I don't know. This the is not even easy. The weakened the last span of the bridge, turning the crossing into a deadly trap. Had Xavier, who noticed the weakened structure at the last instant, not called out, all would have fallen into the chasm. The Lyrians managed to capture the unit commander. She stood, her head raised high, and when Meave glared at her, she did not avert her eyes. Oh. Hire her! We need... Oh. Whatever. What is your name, Elf? We need new new recruits. Abayat met a parsed one. Um. Well, you should... Yeah, fine. That's... That's quite long. She said, uh... Thank you, Reynard. I know well what she said. Kiss my ass. Is that truly the best you can muster? I'd rather show you exactly what I can muster. Tell them to unbind me. What? Well, you're not even bound. Look at this. Unless... Nah, it doesn't look like her legs are bound and her, her arms are probably not bound. You got your opportunity. On the battlefield. Will you not tell me what they call you? Fine. It's all the same to me. I'm more interested to know how you came to be here. Who sent you? No one. It was my decision to kill you, and thus avenge Eldane. He was idiot. He was stupid. Do you remember him? The elf whom you denied a burial? Whom you left in an open field to rot? You guys certainly buried him. I was in biz I was busy. You've elven blood on your hands. The blood of the elves of the Mulderwood. I only killed all of them. <laughs> 
I really hope you're not gonna hold that against me. Eldane was a criminal. I regret it. Eldane was a criminal. He was. Eldane was a criminal. He got what he deserved. You call him a criminal? What do you call humans who murder our kind in pogroms? Who massacre us? What do you call Black Rayla who fought at your side? They were criminals too! There you go! Eldin was a criminal, they were criminals, easy. You know, it does it doesn't balance out. Do not dare compare us. Do not dare! I don't I'm just saying that, you know, if there is guy who's murdering and you start murdering, it doesn't justify your murdering in a way. Well, okay. I, I don't really want to go into it or get too specific, but my point is, you know, I just because someone else is doing something, that doesn't justify you doing something as well. Not necessarily. Especially, especially if it's indirect, you know? If someone punches you, you can punch him back, but, you know? If someone just uh, uh, treats other people unfairly and you start treating other people unfairly, that's not good. And that's what usually the square tile does, you know? Like, the humans treat the elf and the, the elder races badly, then uh, the Squirtel just starts murdering some humans, and like, no, that's not good. If, if the Squirtel was all about, you know, getting the people who are, who are, I don't know, the, actually really deserve it, I might be more sympathetic, but I, I just can't get behind the whole, let's just kill some humans because they are... Uh, racist bastards. Enough. I've heard all I wish to hear. But I haven't. Did you fall in your heat, elf? Eh? If you want to fight humans, go on and do it. You cannot talk sense to Egypts. <laughs> here, damn it. Mahakam is and will be neutral. <laughs> Why the fuck? Yeah. Why the fuck did you come here? You cannot be neutral. To Dwan, you are either their foe or their dog. God, brainwashing. Mahakam has stood aside sleeping long enough. That is why we struck it in its very heart. As a call to battle. A call to brethren whom you, Elder, have kept from the world too long. I have kept him away. I've been bloody right to do so. You want to play at war, you numpties? You want to force the Pontar to flow upstream? Gang right ahead! Good riddance, I say! Gun kill, gun die if you fancy! But God damn it, leave us alone! Yeah, I should kill you! With my own hands! I should cut your throat, put you out of your misery! That's what you want, in it? To die? To die a stupid death? I like Bruver. <laughs> he's old. He's seen all the bullshit and he is having none of it. You that. No, no, I'll lock you in a tower. Sit there three centuries, and you just might grow a brain. <laughs> Bruva Hoog gazed after the shackled elf as she was led away. Meave expected him to continue fuming, cursing her. But the dwarf stood silent, and his old eyes, half concealed by brows bushy as a forest floor, showed not anger but the deepest sadness. Dwarven engineers made quick work of repairing the crumbled bridge span. Brewer! We're still gonna have our talk. Mount Carbon. No. Mount Carbon. Damn. And I thought Novograd was big. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get inside. Don't hesitate. The Lyrians stepped inside Mount Carbon's bowels. Neve rode while looking upwards, admiring the intricately carved ceiling, gilded walls, monumental bas reliefs carved from basalt. Yet this was no time to admire the sights. Ruva Hoog had summoned her to speak. I thank you for your invitation, Elder. My invitation? Choice term, lass. You wangled your way in here. Long I've lived, but never have I seen a wench so stubborn. 
I take that as a compliment. With all due respect, do you not feel like a pot conversing with a kettle? Ha! <laughs> True enough. Changes of mind did not come easy to me. But they do come at times. Human wars concern me not at all. For so many they are, who could count them? Near a year goes by without one wanking king invading another's realm. A dog with scabies is less restless. That's why this morning I aim to send you off with nothing. Matter not what the clans were saying. Revia, Shmevia, who gives a sheep's fart? But that was this morn, before that daft wench and her pups attacked. Nilfgaard supports the Scoyatel, it's common knowledge. Nilfgaard uses them. Well, I'm nay worse, and I choose to use Queen Meave. You must have a plan. So what use would you make of me, if I might ask? You've a plan? Aye, the kind dwarves like best. Simple, but sneaky. <laughs> Simple and sneaky? Like to give Nilfgaard a warning, you can. If you're going to rile my dwarves, throw them into the Scoyatel ranks, you'll regret it, aye? But I'd like to issue the warning without declaring war. All clear to you so far. Got it. So, when you march out of Mahakam, you'll find a company of our foot dwarves waiting out with the gate. Officially, volunteers enlisting with you against my will. <laughs> and you have to put them at the fore next time you face Nilfgaard. Want the black lads to break their teeth on our bucklers, get a taste of our axe blades. After that, Dare say they'll think twice before they send more Scoyatel into these hells. I do not. Thank you, Elder. You restore my hope that I shall have my home back in the end. Candid like, I didn't share your faith. I've watched you. You're naive. Let ire take you. Meddle in matters near your own. Disrespect our custom. But you win or nay, it's all the same to me. Then I hope that I shall at least surprise you. Honestly doubt that. <laughs> so you'll only get the bare minimum recruits to make the Imperials take note. And near dwarf more. <laughs> oh my god. Can we just kick Maeve in the face and take Broverhog as our leader? <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Volunteer corpse. Why do I suspect that these guys are gonna be worse than what I got? And for that I am grateful. But now, I would like to march at once. So by your leave... Go ride! Now if you can! Quicker you get out of our mount the better! Without waiting for Mee's reply, Bruver turned his back to her. The Queen left without saying a word. There were few choice ones burned on her lips. Meave was on her way back to her company when who should step in front of her if not Gabor? To what do I owe this pleasure? Do the Zigrins wish to use me once more? Accomplish aught else with my aid? Could be. But if so, take none of my concern. Hmm. Why is that? For I've resolved to leave Mahakam for all time. You are? Hmm. And where will you go? Then again. Wherever you lead me. I beg your pardon. Your Grace. Meave. I betrayed your trust. Tricked you outright. In spite of that, you kept my confidence. Risking everything. To say I'm grateful is just a, a wee understatement. I'm indebted to you. Deeply so. <clears throat> Please let me pay it off. Let me fight at your side. Heed to help me. I definitely didn't agree with the slaughter, but you made a good point that... Bruver uh, punishing the entire clan... That would have been not great, so it would have just led to more bloodshed. So. I'm still not happy about it, but that was the lesser evil. So be it, I agree. I agree. Gabor, vindictive I am not. Oh, thank you, me! Yet neither am I stupid. You may join our ranks, I agree. 
Yet trick me once more, in the tiniest manner, and I shall show you no mercy. Is that clear? Chastened, Gabor merely nodded to confirm. Whoa! What a picture! Eve extended her hand for the dwarf to kiss as a sign of submission. Yet he simply wrapped his arms around her waist and squeezed. I preferred this. Perfect. Just pick me up and carry me around. The Lyrians were ready to leave Mahakam when they heard the sonorous blast of a commander's horn announcing the arrival of Bruva Hoog. Oh, what does he want now? When she saw a sour grin on his face, Meave knew the tidings were not good. But what she heard next exceeded her wildest expectations. Really? Come to say farewell? No need, truly. Kim, cause I got a burning question. Meave, you expecting anyone? No. How's that? Runner says a delegation's arrived at Carbon for Illyria and Rivia. Got a Nilfgaardian escort. How dare they? Traitors. Who leads it? Uh, you'd best sit. Is it my son? Who leads the delegation? It's your son. Villain, I fear. New way. Villain. Markham remains neutral as regards all your squabbles. I trust I needn't remind you. So, I'll have no scrambling, nor shoving, and certainly no bloodshed. Point of fact, I'd prefer it if you... I wish to speak to him. I'd forbid you, but, as I said, never seen a more stubborn wench. <laughs> All righty then, jabber away with him. Just remember, hands to yourself. Meave spotted banners, a Lyrian <laughs> eagle upon one surrounded by Nilfgaard's black rags. Her hands became fists showing how helpless she felt. Then her son and rival, Willem, emerged from behind a row of Imperial footmen. My, my. I should apologize. It Jesus seems I Christ. missed the coronation. Congratulations, my son. Who was it who placed the crown? General Epdahi? Oh my god, son. What is this get-up? Jesus Christ. Look at me, I dress like a badass mercenary, and you... The fish scale armor, with the bathrobe, and the... I don't know, 70s hair, hippie hair, with the Wonder Woman, a hat pants. I can't even see your boots. This is just... So bad. I, I cannot... I cannot, cannot even express it. Please. Can you just turn around while we talk? Count Caldwell. Oh. Ah, yes. Our elder statesman. Why have you come here of all places? To acquire arms for Nilfgaard? As my official mission, yes. Yet unofficially, I wish to speak with you. I, yeah. You just want to talk me out of... Resisting? I trust you've had tidings from the field. Edern turned to ash and dust. Vizimir murdered Redania in chaos. Faltus forced to strike a pact by his vassals betrayed. Hensult the same. This limerick, will it come to a point? Why, yes. To the same as this war. Mother, I beg you, you must see it. N Nilfgaard's victory is inevitable. Surrender now, and I shall show you mercy. For later... Later, it'll be too late. There will be no later. We shall repel them, drive them south at the points of our pikes. This we, mother, who precisely do you mean? You stand alone. Better to stand alone than with Nilfgaard. I'm not gonna tell who I signed up with. I prefer to stand alone over standing with Nilfgaard, with the invader, as you do. Mother, <laughs> in declaring for the Empire, I saved the lives of thousands of our subjects. And in so doing, our honor lost. Folk who had their huts burned down care deeply about our honor. Is that truly your belief? Well, that's not quite... Come on, me. you can make a better point. There's gonna be a lot more deaths with Nilfgaard at the helm. And also, complete change of uh, way of life. Willem, I get your point. I, I truly do. But, I don't know. I'm not sure how would I make my argument here.
Because surrendering does seem okay, but at the same time, just they're just like taking advantage of the people, of all the resources, of everything. And that's just not good. In a way, surrendering just helps the war effort. That, that's why Nilfgaard is so powerful, because of course they showed up with a big army, but if there was like a unified resistance instead of a, a region surrendering one by one, actually uh, helping the war effort, yeah, I mean, then, then we would have a problem. Then Nilfgaard would have a big problem, because Nilfgaard is a, like a unified force. That's the big problem that... Uh, the Nora realms are not united. And if they were united, and of course dwarves, like, united, Nilfgaard would not stand a chance. But all they do is just take over the land one by one, and they all surrender, instead of just fighting back uh, together. When I was crowned, a fact you deride, though that makes it no less true, I swore the good of my subjects would guide me. And a war we are doomed to lose cannot in any way benefit them. And slavery can. You know well the Blacklads put peasants in chains, like cattle. Reprehensible, I agree, but... And resettlement? Forced labor? Cruel laws that make death the punishment for the slightest offenses? Are those benefits? Well, answer me! I see I will not sway you, mother. A shame, though I take comfort in the fact I tried. And now, adieu. What the fuck, Willem? Is that it? How about, you know, you were not even open to changing your mind. You weren't as open to changing your mind either, but you can't have a conversation like this, you know? Willem, you're so damn certain that you're right. I, I totally understand your point, Willem, but you're wrong. Oh no, I, not you, will decide when this conversation is over. Oh... Have we anything else to discuss? Yeah, you still look like terrible, terrible fashion sense. I is Colville dressing you? How did you know I would be here? Did you hear the Nilf Guardians try to kill me? Are you perhaps aware that the Nilf Guardians tried to kill me? So many times. What? No, I, I, I heard only about an avalanche. Well, yeah. Bad and so many other things. Which tumbled down through no small effort of an Imperial envoy. Never would I have agreed to such a heinous act. I believe you. I'm heartened that despite all we... I believe you because I believe the North Guardians wouldn't ever have asked your opinion. <laughs> Think on it, son. Are you their ally or their tool? Can you ever be sure? I am the King of Lyria and Rivia. To serve my subjects' best interests, I am prepared to make even the most painful concessions. Might I leave now? Or is there more? I like that you're asking me permission. How did you know I would be here? Naturally. How did you know you would find me here? I... I received Nilfgaardian reports to the effect that you've been seen in the past. Oh, roses are red and so are your cheeks, my son. As ever when you're caught in a lie. Lyria is two weeks travel hence. Had you received word only once I was here, we'd have been long gone from Mahakam by the time you assembled a force and completed the march. No. You were forewarned of our intended route. It means I've a traitor in my ranks. Another one. Oh my god, who is it? Get out of my sight, villain. And pray we only ever face one another on neutral ground. Meave struggled inside not to turn and gaze once more at her son. He'd changed since they'd last faced each other. <laughs> and he wore the crown well. <laughs> oh my god. Stop with the jokes. <laughs> Storyteller. I can't take it. <laughs> I didn't realize the Storyteller was cup. telling jokes. Her advisors shot her questioning glances, curious what she had discussed with Bruva. But Meave decided to keep the details to herself. One of them wore a Nilfgaardian lead around his neck. Until she knew who, she would have to remain vigilant. Time to march on. But in which direction? I've thought on it, Your Grace. We've strength enough to hit the foe, but still not the numbers to face him in open battle. 
So what do you propose? This war we cannot win alone, nor even with the dwarves at our side. But if we secure a victory, small yet symbolic, we shall show the other realms of the North all is not yet lost. Thus, I propose we attack behind the front lines, somewhere well clear of any major Imperial force. Where would you suggest? I'm considering Angren. To begin with, a thickly wooded marshy land, always helpful in clandestine operations. Secondly, the land strategically important, as it's the chief source of building material for Nilfgaard's fleets. All too little, I fear. Since we require a victory that would be symbolic, we must strike where it shall hurt, and Angren... Just recently welcomed a new regent, in the person of Count Coldwell, my third argument. Naturally, if your majesty wishes, I'm prepared to present alternatives to this. It sounds pretty good. Strategically important, doable. It might not be the flashiest, but sounds good. No need. We march at dawn. All right, I'm I'm sold. Neve had toiled, cajoled, persuaded, and gained the dwarves' support. She left Mahakam strengthened markedly. Even so, the queen was in a foul mood, for it was clear a traitor, a viper, nested among the Lyrians. Someone who had conveyed the Queen's plans to her foe. From this moment on, Meave would need to weigh every word she uttered, even in the presence of her closest associates. Your Grace, we must plot our course forward. Shall we take the Western Passage into Angren, or...? Not now. When, then? Dawn approaches, yet we know nothing of where... I will not repeat myself. The Queen knew she would learn the traitor's identity in the end. If need be, she would tear the name from the throat of another turncoat, Count Caldwell. Meave drooled at the prospect of seeing Caldwell in chains, then passing him to the hangman. <laughs> Saddle the horses. I shall take the fall. Beef taking uh, the time for pleasure in life, for small pleasures. and negotiations had gone. Meave was to attack her foe at last, and she could not wait to do so. Yes, Trace of Spala, the guy that I don't use. I suppose we... Maybe this is the last part of the game. At long last, Meeb's force reached Angren's marshy huh? woods. Ever been? No? Count yourselves lucky. Are you certain we haven't lost our way? Alas, here there is no way. We continue south, that's all south meaning the bottom should you ever venture there i offer you this advice do your utmost to make no noise <laughs> poor soul his comrades cried out reached out but alas amidst frothing waters they heard bones cracking the moan of metal bent and crushed what the bloody hell? What was that? Rather not know, personally. Hold your positions. Arms at the ready. It was a glusty war. One of many the Lyrians would encounter along their path. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. At last, Meave and her force stood upon the Yaruga's bank. To find and punish the traitor Caldwell, they would have to cross the river. Yet the sole bridge nearby was in Nilfgaard's hands. Alright. So, your Majesty, we are back in Lyria. Require your attention. What about the dwarfs I got? Let's see, new area. Oh yeah, this is a proper new area. It's kind of big. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be the, the the last area of the game. Because it's... It, well, it doesn't have big castles. That's about it. But we got some new reinforcements. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time!